Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hippie get up. First shot, come strut walking. A little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious. Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the game. No, no, y'all can't copy up. Bad, moonwalking. And this here is our party. My posse's been on Broadway and we did it all. Way chrome music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yeah, I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track bussin'. Halfway across that city with the back, 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 crush it. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Here we go back, this is the moment. Tonight is the night, we'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can. But that's what you get when Wu-Tang raised you Y'all can't stop me Go hard like I got an 808 in my heartbeat And I'm eating at the beat Like it gave a little speed To a great white shark on shark We raw Time to go off Gone Deuces goodbye I got a world to see And my girl she wanna see Rome See so make you a believer Nah I never ever did it for a throne That validation comes from giving it back to the people Now sing this song And it goes like Raise those hands This is our party We came here to live life Like nobody was watching I got my city Right behind me If I fall They got me Learn from that failure Gain humility And then we keep marching Can I we said, go back This is the moment Tonight is the night We'll fight till it's over So we put our hands up Like the ceiling can hold us Like the ceiling can Things that happen to us in life, they're not designed to stop us. 
the design to reposition us so we can come in contact with what God really has for us. And so everything that, that I do, man, I do it to honor God because I feel like God gave me a second chance at life. And so I feel like I'm doing what God put me on this earth to do. You see, my mother had me when she was 15 years old, right? Over on the east side of Atlanta, we came up in this neighborhood by the name of Kirkwood, drug dealer on every corner, gang members in the neighborhood, two bedroom home, 14 people, used to sleep on the floor. Got the opportunity to sleep in the bed one time out of the week. There were six of us in the bed, three at the foot, three at the head. And I came up with this dream pretty quick. I said, man, I want to go to the NFL because I had eight uncles in that house, all eight of which are still going in and out of prison. And so pretty quick, I said, man, I want to go to the NFL. And so I went to my big cousin tomorrow one night. I said, man, listen, I want to go to the NFL. And so we got to work for this thing. So the thing we're going to do every night, we're going to be patient. We're going to engage in consistent action. Every night, we're going to race light pole to light pole with no shoes. So every night we would get out in the street, race light pole to light pole. One night a coach came down the street and he signed me and my cousins up for organized sports, right? First time being in organized sports. We get in organized sports. The thing was, after practice, everybody would leave to go home. And I always had to sit on the bench and wait on my mother because she worked that day. And so when my mother would show up in the park, it would be about 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So I'm sitting there and my mother would come up and take my things and leave me and she would pull up in the park 10.30 at night. I would jump off the bench, I would spin over to my mother, I would jump off the bench, 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 I would jump off the bench. And I knew my mother was tired. And every night my mother would sit back in that car and those car lights would hit that field and he had a seven year old kid doing back pedaling drills, running sprints, running laps, chasing his dream to go to the NFL, but just beyond those car lights, I could always connect with my mother's eyes, so it made me dig a little bit deeper, it made me push myself a little bit further, it made me work a little bit harder. It created a certain level of sweat equity in what I was doing, it created a certain level of pride. And so I went to Krim High School, one of the lowest performing public schools in the whole state of Georgia, dropout rate higher than the graduation rate. People didn't go to college. I went to Krim, my first day I walked through the doors, a metal detective cop said, what's your plan, little man? I said, my plan is to go D1. He said, nah, you'll probably end up in cell block D1. I said, nah, you got the wrong guy. He said, no, nah, you'll probably end up in cell block D1. I said, no, nah, you got the wrong guy. After my freshman year, my mother and father both came to me and they said, Inky, we're transferring you from this place. You got a scholarship at Tucker High School. They said, all you have to do is come and play your next three years. They guarantee you a scholarship to Georgia. I said, please, leave me at one of the lowest performing public schools in the whole state of Georgia. I can get a scholarship from this place. Son, nobody goes to college from there. Please. Let me stay here. I can make it from this place. They transferred me anyway. First football game, tore the ligaments in my ankle, out for the season, ended up in a wheelchair. Went back to my parents. Will you please transfer me back to one of the lowest performing public schools in the whole state of Georgia? My pastor said, Inky, you really want to go there? I said, please transfer me back there. I need to go back there. And so the summer going into my senior year, we got blessed with a new coach. He came to me. I was done with football. He said, man, please come and work out for me. Just do one workout for me. I said, okay, coach, I'll come out. I'll work out. I ran a 40-yard dash. I did some